gentlemen, it fascinates me to see how wonderful, beautiful we are when we born. We start from being so tiny, we can fix the palm like this, from maybe one kg to about seven kg or ten kg in the case of a large baby. Or from 100 pounds, maybe about 250 or 300 pounds in the case of a very huge man. We have some around. How many shall we From little to mischievous, or strange and active, or maybe weak but wise. Small one says sometimes even that. The more man grows, the smaller his balls become. Say men at youth plays football. Men are the middle age to play tennis. However, men at a very advanced age they play golf. <laughs> My point here is is it really God's plan for us to get to that golf age, or it was man's greediness? Man's insatiable satisfaction that drove us to get to that age or become weak and wise or play golf. Mr. President, fellow toastmasters, and guests, the story you are about to hear will answer the question. When God created the world, He called all His creations. He sat in His big chair. Long beard, all white, he was looking glorious. And he called everybody to his presence. And he was to tell each and every one of his creature what your responsibility is, and as well as the duration of their life, and how they're going to live their life. So he sat down in this big chair, and the first he called was man. You know, when you are in the presence of the divine, you have to be humble. Just like you are in the presence of a wonderful queen. You are very loyal, you are submissive. So you don't gaze at his eyes. You just bow down and you listen. And God gave this decree Man, you shall be king all over the world. You shall rule over everything that lives and creeps under the earth. You shall be in control of the fishes in the water as well as the birds in the sky. You shall have access to the trees. You shall have access to their fruits. You shall be in control of everything and they are answerable to you. However, you're going to live for 30 years. Man plays on his head. Disappointed. Disappointed. For 30 years, living as a king of his time, this time he was walking away grumbling and complaining. How can I live a wonderful life as a king and a queen and live for just 30 years? So he didn't go that far. Just went his eyes and stood. He was still there complaining. And now it was a turn. But the donkey, mm -hmm. the donkey came. Got to his presence, he bowed down, he rested his head, knelt down, and he remained there. And God told him and decreed the donkey. Donkey, you are going to be, be the beast of body. You are going to walk so hard, very hard. You are going to be ridiculed, you are going to be scolded. And for all the work you do, your food is going to be tons and trifles. And you're going to eat very little. You're going to sleep little. There will be no rest for you. All you're going to do for the rest of your life is just walk, sleep little, eat little. Walk, eat little, sleep little. And you're going to live for going to be this miserable and I'm going to live this long in this misery. It's a message from the Almighty Father. Have mercy on me. I can't go through life with this. Please take 20 years out of my 50 years. The merciful Father said, all right, I'll take 20 and then jump out the man. You know how we are. He came out. Dear Father, you heard him. Give me the 20 years. I said, granted. 
not to be 20 years from the donkey. The old man, the man still not gone, still somewhere there. And then came the dog. As the dog came back in, and dog said, and God said, dear fellow, I decree that you are going to be so attached to your master. You are going to guide this property as it is your own. And you cannot live without your master. You are even going to bark at the shadow of the moon. Protect everything your master has. And your food is going to be whole and fresh. The dog and said, you're going to live for all this, you're going to live for 40 years. back because he was in the presence of the Almighty, but he was able to complain, dear Father, be merciful and Almighty Lord. Why do you want me to go through life like this? If the man is going to live for 30 years, I'm going to live for 40 years, maybe he will die even before I die. So how am I going to survive the many 10 years when he's not there? Please, dear Father, I cannot go through life like this, just eating bone and roll it, backing at the moon or every shadow around protecting my master's property. Please take 20 years. And God said, okay. And man jumped out again. Dear father, the dog doesn't want it. Give me the 20 years. And God said, granted. And man took the other 20 years. Ladies and gentlemen, now here comes the monkey. He was hanging in this tree, jumping to that tree. And when he heard it was in tongue, came down, in his presence of the divine, with a white long beard, he bowed down in his presence and listened to his decree. And God said, My dear monkey, you are going to be mischievous. You are going to be a fool and laughing stock. You are going to be an icon of joke, a symbol of joke. Everybody's going to laugh at you. You are going to look like man, but you will not be man. Your back will be bent. And not just that, your eyes or your face is going to be wrinkled with big eye sockets all around. And you're going to make funny tricks that children will laugh around. And you are going to live for 60 years. Whoa! 60 what? <laughs> are you saying I'm going to live this mischievous life and do tricks and people are going to laugh at me and fools are going to use me as an element of their joke for 60 years? Please have mercy on me, dear Lord. How can I do that? It is impossible to be laughed at, to make funny tricks for 60 years. And God said, what do you want? He said, please take 30. I'll live 30 years. And God said, granted. And man jumped out again. We are so greedy. What can such inspire us? And man jumped out again. You see, they don't want it. Give me the 30 years. And God said, granted. And meeting was dismissed. Everybody went about his own life to live and lead according to the way the Almighty has decreed it. Ladies and gentlemen, that is why the first 30 years of our life, we live as a king, we live as a queen, we are energized, we own everything, we have no responsibility, we live free life, we can fly, we can sing, we can do whatever we want, we are independent. However, the age of the donkey from 30 to 50 years, now we've got responsibilities. We work so hard to gather everything we can gather. We don't sleep properly, we don't rest properly. We are just gathering things, gathering everything together. And we are living in body. In body. We are scolded, hated at work, we still go to the same job just to get paid and continue our life like that because we are living the donkey years. And here come the age of the dog, between the ages of 50 to 70. At this age, we protect whatever we have gathered. We hold it so dear that whoever we see walking just across what we owe, we back. We protect it, we back at the shadow, we back at the moon. Because we are living a dog life, the dog years. 
And if we are able to go through 70 to maybe 100, then this time, our back is bent, our face is wrinkled, our socket <laughs> become bigger, and now we have laughing stock to our grandchildren who make funny tricks with your grandpa or grandma. However, what age you are currently defines the year you are living in. The donkey years, the dog years, or the monkey years. Thank you. Right, everybody. You've got 22 minutes to discuss that.